If you're looking for an awesome and epic way to breathe life and lore into your builds, then you should really consider building an epic little forge with a tea light and some foam bricks. So I've had this pack of flickering tea lights for a little while now, and I've been wanting to do a forge build for just as long. So the first thing I did was just take out that plastic flame and test it. And the nice thing about these is it has kind of an orangish yellow warm flicker to it. And then from there, all I had to do was start gluing bricks around here. So to start that, I just put it down on a piece of parchment paper and glued the bricks in place, not worrying about pushing the glue into the paper since it'll peel off very nicely and get you a nice flush bottom to that. From there, all I had to do was start building up the rows of bricks around there, just making sure to change the pattern up and alternate those bricks up until I got to a height that I liked. Next, for the actual coal bed, all I did was take some hot glue and start drizzling that down into there, just to cover up the light and kind of break up how the light was flickering. Now once I was all set and cured, all I had to do was start building up the rest of this forge. So for this, you, there's a lot of ways you could do this if you want to have a more square body. What I chose to do was just build them up and start to slowly build them into a kind of a dome shape over that. Just so I could have a kind of a chimney and kind of a nice looking shape that I enjoyed to it. Then once you get that to a height that looks about right, just give it a little bit of a entrance or a doorway and hole in the front there. And you can start building up the chimney. So start with that, all I did was kind of place them around that back side, still continuing in that dome shape. And then after I had that covered, I went ahead and just made a square chimney as normal. Now originally I had planned this to hold an incense down in there, or maybe even a cone incense, so you could also get some smoke effects out the top. But as I was exper experimenting with that, I noticed that the chimney was a bit too small and the foam started to melt on the inside. So if it is something you want to add to yours, I would be sure that either leave it enough room or maybe choose a smaller incense to go in the bottom. Now once I had these little walls added to the sides, all I had to do was Mod Podge it. And that just ensures it gives it a nice hard protective layer and make sure all the foam is covered because we'll be using some spray paint here in just a moment that will melt the foam if it's not covered properly. So for an extra layer of detail for the charcoal in the forge, I just took some PVA glue and some fine gravel and just sprinkle that around the edges in there. It can be pretty messy and you still get a pretty nice coal look to it, especially once the light's on there. Makes the center look even hotter for you. Now I did go to prime this, all I did was tape up those that center piece there because I didn't want to cover up any of the light that will be going through there. And then moved on to my Spongebob method of painting with a sponge and some yellow and red paint. Just kind of dabbed all over the place. Once you start overbrushing with this, it just adds a lot of nice detail and color and contrast to your build. So a nice neutral gray and just start overbrushing over all of the stone. Making sure you're not covering up all of the color and detail and you still have a nice base coat underneath. Finally, all we have left to do is a couple layers of some dry brushing, some lighter and lighter all the way up to white. And then once we get to that white, we just make sure to keep it towards the top facing down, kind of really just to help exaggerate those light sources. And then after that's all done, we'll just take a nice brown wash and cover that up to make it look a little older and grimier. Now we'll just take some red and, and oranges into the center there and add a little bit of color so that it still looks like a hot forge even when it's turned off. And I'll even take a little bit of orange there and dab that onto some of the coals just around the center there to add it, make it look a little warmer. As well as a bit of orange on the walls and around the edge to make it look like it's glowing. Finally, all that was left to do was add a little bit of moss to it because as my signature, just add a little bit of life and make it look a lot more older or abandoned. Um, but you can really do this as much as you want or as little as you like. Once that was dry, this project was complete. With this project, I did have a lot less time than I normally do, so I wanna do something pretty quick. And this is one of those projects that's been on my back burner for a while. In the end, I'm really happy with how it came out and I hope that this is a build that you guys are motivated and inspired by. Now if you did find this tutorial entertaining and educating, please consider subscribing. That kind of stuff really does help out the channel and let me know what you're interested in. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.